my name is Sarah Weaver. I'm a composer and conductor, and I'd like to uh, introduce you to uh, our set on the interpretation series, uh, September 22nd. Uh, this set will feature two pieces. Uh, the first is titled Polydimensional Transformation. It's a piece for solo bass, uh, for bassist Mark Dresser. And the second piece is for the SLM Ensemble, and that title is Resonance Synthesis. Uh, the SLM Ensemble is a group that I co-direct uh, with bassist Mark Dresser. And we formed officially in 2014, but out of many uh, projects that we've had uh, together in various formations since about 2007. So our ensemble is comprised of uh, approximately 20 uh, musicians uh, in New York uh, that are from uh, sort of experimental scenes uh, in classical jazz, uh, electronics, and world music. So we are uh, a synthesis as an ensemble. Uh, we perform uh, all over New York and we also uh, do work in what we call telematic music, uh, so as music uh, via the internet uh, by musicians in different geographic locations. So this ensemble serves as the uh, New York ensemble for those projects as well. Uh, so the performers, I have a list here. Uh, Jane Ira Bloom on soprano saxophone, Ellery Escalin on tenor saxophone, Dave Taylor on bass trombone, Min Chao Fen on pipa, Samir Chatterjee on tabla, Satoshi Takeshi, percussion, Denman Maroney, hyper piano, uh, Mark Dresser, bass, and myself as conductor. So regarding the pieces, uh, polydimensional transformation for solo bass and uh, resonance synthesis for SLM Ensemble, uh, these pieces are experimental in nature. Uh, but what I can say is that uh, these pieces uh, contain elements uh, they're certainly influenced by uh, pluralism, multiplicity, uh, multidimensionality, spectralism, synthesis, uh, contemplative music, uh, these types of uh, these types of musics. So, uh, and this goes for, for both pieces. So, um, I had this uh, solo piece for Mark Dresser and the ensemble piece, but they uh, share similar uh, uh, similar elements. And it's a, a reason why I could uh, write a solo piece um, for, for Mike Dresser. And also, um, I would say, in co-directing the ensemble, uh, we have uh, aesthetic uh, intersections, uh, I could say that, uh, that uh, have uh, gone into this, this music and the, the, that these pieces can go together. In the piece for solo bass, uh, the language is uh, very specific to uh, Mark Dresser's uh, pioneering techniques uh, on the solo bass. And uh, in the ensemble piece, uh, it contains elements of uh, composition, improvisation, and gesture. And so the use of gesture uh, uh, incorporates elements of traditional conducting um, sound painting, uh, which was originated by Walter Thompson and uh, my own original gestures uh, specific to this piece. In terms of the uh, contemplative uh, elements of my work, uh, I can certainly say that um, I'm an influence by uh, six years that I spent uh, with uh, composer Pauline Oliveris and her uh, deep listening practice. Her uh, compositional uh, styles uh, and also creative access uh, through, through her practice. There's another project, current project I can point to is uh, a telematic project I work on for uh, a few years now called Universal Synchrony Music. Uh, we're, it's a collaboration with the NASA Kepler mission, K2 mission, um, where we're sonifying uh, stars and planets and systems uh, from deep space and uh, integrating this with, uh, uh, again, concepts of uh, synchrony and transcending uh, extreme distance. Uh, so the idea of resonance, I can point also to uh, 
another set of telematic and local projects done by uh, in the Resonations series, uh, which was a project that started with uh, uh, at the United Nations uh, headquarters, where we uh, collaborated with musicians in different uh, locations for uh, concerts for peace, uh, with the idea that we're uh, resonating nations. Um, and uh, so these are perhaps ideas that have been in formation and in uh, a state of composition uh, in a, a larger sense. Uh, but these uh, two pieces of the league premiered uh, uh, have their own uh, qualities for the present. Uh, so SLM stands for uh, Source Liminal Music and is also a triconsonantal root of several words uh, that mean peace, such as Shalom, Salam, Shliam. There's uh, many words uh, that start with an S, have an L in the middle, and have an M at the end. Uh, that mean peace and um, similar types of words. So uh, and I guess in a larger sense, um, the elements that we share in our various formations. So we have the local ensemble, we have the uh, telematic work uh, that I mentioned where we uh, collaborate with uh, musicians via the internet. And also we have these solo projects um, that have uh, emerged um, out of this ensemble that share these concepts of uh, multiplicity and sort of multiple concepts um, and uh, in a way in telematic music as we sort of transcend physical and geographic distance uh, to perform together uh, we uh, do that also in the musical elements uh, of, of this group and so that's a, a way that we have an ensemble that exists in these multiple formations uh, but shared uh, similar uh, musical aesthetics.